Josh, second fight of the evening now. Very excited. It's the Australian wrestling coach from Melbourne, Amir Yakubi, taking on Ruslan Ulov Imbek. Let's go to John DeMicoli, centre of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number two of AFC Asia. Fighting out of the red corner, Ruslan Ulu Emilbeck. Here we go, Matt. Ruslan Emilbeck is a student by trade. Full-time student, part-time fighter. That is a very, very dangerous looking student. Saw him warming up earlier tonight in the AFC gym upstairs. We haven't mentioned that yet, Josh. And this kid is in very good condition. He looks very strong for this age uh, division. He is. He spent a lot of time in China recently at the Xi'an Sports Academy, training with some of China's greatest upcoming fighters right now. Again, really, really strong. When you look at him, at the weigh-ins yesterday, Amin Yakubi weighed in, looked good, but Ruslan looks so much bigger. The younger, more athletic. Um, look, from my perspective, on visuals alone, he looks like a very, very impressive young fighter. I said age division because they're so different in age, but weight division is going to say, yeah, look at his chest. He's strong, he's fit, he's tall, and guess what? He's from Japan. He knows the climate well. We're in China. Short fight for him. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting to see how Amin goes with the 12-hour you know, fight uh, different climate. Yeah, well, I spoke to Ruslan's coach yesterday. He actually speaks very good English, and he was saying to me, without giving a lot of weight, of course, that the Ruslan is incredibly well-rounded. I talked to him about Amin being, you know, a fantastic wrestler. He said, don't be surprised at all if Ruslan is able to defeat Coach Amin on the ground. Very surprising statement. Big don't call, think Josh. he can back it up, but the kid's got a chance. Let's see what he's got. He comes into the AFC cage. Very, very exciting times. Our first male ever mixed martial art fight for the AFC outside Australia. Very Aussie music, Josh, just quietly. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, Armin Yakubi. Here he is, oh, he walks into Rocky Music, Eye of the Tiger. Anyone that walks into the Eye of the Tiger, a legitimate martial artist, before they even throw a single punch. Look, I'm in Yakubi, as you mentioned, mate, very good friend of mine. So I will try my best here to not be Amin favoured, of course. We'll be always very even and equal on commentary. Amin, fantastic wrestler, great hands, bit of a, a, a reckless style. The big factor for me will be that Amin hasn't fought since he had one of the greatest scraps of all time against Talgad Dilaslav back oh. in Melbourne about two or three years ago. What a fight. Cage rust, Matt. How big an impact will cage rust have on a here? Well, you know what? Well, we just saw Vic, the Spartan Grudic, former Australian UFC fighter, Nick Tripper. He's in the gym all day, every day. But you're right, when he gets to the trenches, late, mid, that second round, and in the third round, uh, that's when the lack of fighting can come through. But you know what? He's a veteran. He's seasoned. He's crafty. Yeah. Um, you know what? He looks a little bit nervous there because it doesn't matter how old you are and how many wrestling fights this is the cage and this is mixed martial arts so that's right and the other thing is you don't know what to expect as much as i'm sure paul mcveigh and vic and all the boys did as much research as they could very hard to find content data footage of these international fighters so i mean we we'll, would we'll prepare as he always would but he really won't know a lot about what to expect from ruslan Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is bout number two of the evening. Three by five minute rounds in the AFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He's a wrestler and a striker standing five feet, nine inches tall. An official weight of 74 kilograms even. Undefeated, eight wins, no losses. Fighting out of the Xi'an Sports Institute. Living in, fighting out of Kyrgyzstan, now living in China, ladies and gentlemen, Ruslan Ulu Emipe! And across the cage, his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This man's a freestyle MMA fighter, standing six feet, one inch tall. Official weight, 75 kilograms even. A fight record, one win, one loss. Fighting out of extreme MMA, out of Melbourne, Australia, ladies and gentlemen, Armin Yakubi. And not the big ovation for Armin Yakubi like he gets in <laughs> Melbourne, Josh Warner. Uh, there are about six claps from the crowd there, so but look, that won't fuck. And that was the <laughs> AFC staff just sitting there on the side. And the two extreme mixed martial arts staff that flew all the way to GN as well. But look, 
Amin won't focus on that at all. He is a seasoned professional. He'll know the crowd will be well against him in this one. And he'll actually be engaged by the fact that he can hope to, to quieten this crowd in the next couple of minutes. Well done to Adam Milankovic, Kelly Seif and all the partners here for Creating History. Our first male mixed martial art fight in history for the AFC outside the country. It's, it's a great fight. A men, big, big challenge round here one. against our younger Russell Ulla Imbach. And we start round one, Josh Warner. Let's see how, let's see what a men does here. Most of expect him to shoot. We don't know what to really expect from Ruslan. Again, the first minute or so will be telling in this one. Right now, a bit of feeling out. Both guys are going to assess reach, assess, assess range. And then you'll see the action commence right now. Big overhand right by a men. I've got a feeling. Oh, like... big overhand right though by Ruslan. Ruslan's hand speed was very, very impressive there, Josh. It was. I mean, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect the minute to throw the big one, but for Ruslan to answer, and then with the body kick, really good start by the young fighter here. I mean, shoots and stacked again. Stopped straight away by Ruslan. Fantastic. Good ball there early. Good confidence there, Josh. Again, a second time a min shot in. Australia's best wrestler and is unable to take Ruslan down so far. He can't telegraph these takedowns so early. I mean, he's already going to expect them. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to set it up. Massive point to an effective takedown to set the punch up first. That was better, but again, Ruslan's body movement switched straight away. And we're in the clinch right now where I think Ruslan will have the advantage based on superior body strength. And here we go, both guys. Trying to get the ascendancy here. Good short knees by both fighters. Just softening their opponents up a little bit. Min's got an underhook, as does Ruslan. So equal, and they break. Pretty fair response. The crowd really enjoying this one. Yeah, right behind Ruslan here so far. But again, Min won't, won't be concerned by that in the slightest. For our viewers, it, they're both wearing the black and white trunks. The one with the grey and uh, our, our Asian fighter is Ruslan Ula Imbek from Japan. And Min Yakubi from Australia. I mean, I can see me again set it up, throw a few jabs. He's trying from too far a distance to achieve that takedown. So set it up and then shoot for the takedown. Ruslan so far, fantastic. Landed some good strikes, avoided the takedown. Really even fight so far. Tell the tape too. Got both guys very similar, Josh as well. Reach and height. Uh, it's just Ruslan's upper body uh, thickness, really, oh. and a good knee. And then ducked in. Dangerous to duck in like that. Again, he's just got to set things up. Ruslan very quick, very very rangy as well, as you can see. As soon as he gets inside, looks to clinch. Big takedown, but again, Amin unable to keep him on the ground. And Amin now guillotine. Position. No, let go of the guillotine. So this, this is Amin Yukubi 101 right now. Right where he wants to be. Full guard, one butterfly in, sort of butterfly in there for Ruslan, but pushed against the cage. This is Amin's territory right now. And he's like he needs to see the experience. What can the young fella from Japan do here with Amin Yakubi on top? Not a lot right now. He has been able to gain control and he's up. Fantastic. Oh, almost Ooh. up, sorry. Jump the gun a little bit there. But he's back to his feet right now. Amin won't get the guillotine from there. There's no chance at all. Ruslan in a dominant position wow. on top of Amin Yakubi. Didn't you caught it that. You caught it, Josh. You said the trainer there said he's very well rounded. Fantastic on the ground out wrestling Amin Yakubi right now. And again, big elbows. Amin's got to be really careful here. Ruslan's posture is too high and he'll get really good chop on the elbow from us. He's got to maintain and he's got to maneuver his body here, hip escape out and try and get back to a dogfight position. And the Chinese crowd are going berserk here. Very, very happy. Yeah, they're, they're right behind their fighter and they know that he's in legitimate fight ending position right now. So. This is a dominant, dominant elbow. Clean elbow landed. Whoa, man. Elbow again. Trouble. He's got to get out of this position, Josh. He does. Watt. He's got a hip escape right now. He's in full mount and opening up big, big punches by Ruslan. This is danger for Amin Yakubi. Greg Clinton's looking. Greg Clinton's having a good look at this early on. Amin has got to get out of this position. He's in a lot of trouble early. Hammer fist. Hammer fist. Amin's covering up. He's going to he's stop this. Big trouble. He's in big he's trouble. Gone. Greg will stop this fight if Amin cannot improve position. Is he going to give oh, up his back? Oh, big left hand. Oh, he's... he's giving up his back. So right now he's going to unload some huge... Here we go. Huge bombs on Amin Yakubi. He's got to power out Ruslan of this, Josh. over. Unbelievable. Wow. Who did not see Ruslan over. dominating Amin on the ground like that. That is a huge result for a young fighter, wow. I don't say this all the time, but unbelievable. To see a man beaten like that, and he was impressive early. This kid could be the future of not just the AFC, but of the Asian fighting. Very, very happy corner. Oh, they are. And as Matt goes into the ring now to shortly speak to a very, very happy Ruslan, we'll reflect on, on the fight that we saw. And 
Uh, unbelievable, as Matt said. We expected a mint to shoot. We expected a mint to have significant advantage on the ground. We didn't see that today. We saw Ruslan basically sprawl every attack. We saw Ruslan, even when he was in a bad position, been able to manoeuvre, being able to switch, been able to get the dominant position and then land some huge ground shots to bring up what is a really, really impressive victory against a formidable opponent in Amin Yukuba. You see good respect there by the fighters. We love to see that in martial arts. We're going to throw center cage John Dimicoli. Ladies and gentlemen, four minutes and ten seconds into the very first round. Your referee, Greg Klenny, has put a stop to this contest. Declaring your winner via TKO, via ground and pound, Red Corner, Rusalan. What a big win for Ruflan. A very, very big victory against a very experienced wrestling wrestler from Melbourne. 那這位選手呢,今天也是非常有技巧並且專業的直接一舉贏得了本場比賽,非常的棒. Wow. He went for a lot of takedowns early. You stuffed them. At one stage he had you in a choke. Was he close in the guillotine?那今天他的比赛当中呢，也是用他的肘部来进行一次性的攻击来击打对方。how does it feel to fight on the Australian Fighting Championship first ever card? Is this very exciting for your career? 那其实如果今天我们这场比赛的胜利对他来说对他未来的职业来说也是有非常大的帮助那么也非常期待他在之后的比赛当中还有怎样的精彩表现怎么说大家谢谢没有什么说哇真的是他现在心情非常的激动能